Hey, it's Scott, Pop Pops Woodshop. I'm going to talk briefly on setting up your job inside a laser. This particular case, it's, it's an X-Tool P2, but it kind of applies to all lasers. So what I do, and I'm not saying this is the only way, I'm saying this is just what I do. I mask my object when I'm doing an engrave, and then on the mask, I write out measurements each way, up and down, left to right. So when I look on the camera, I can line this up. And the same is true if you're just putting the profile ring for the framing, you'll be able to measure it out and just line it up. So let me show you what I'm doing. This is a book binding that I'm making into a, a, a donation box. Uh, it's my wife's project. So what I do, I've masked it. I've got one through seven vertical, one through five horizontal with a half inch mark here. So I know where to place the wording that she wants. This line is the edge of the binding. So it has to flex. Don't want to engrave over that. This is the latch where you lock the box. Don't want to engrave over that. I get these measurements with, through a flexible tape. It's this particular one is one inch, or excuse me, inch and metric. So uh, whatever works best for you. Okay, so let's look at the computer so you can see what we're doing. Okay, you can see the text is pretty much lined up. I'm approximately one inch in on each side, three quarters of an inch on the top, and about an inch on the bottom. So now I can burn this and I'll be good to go. You can see the marks that I put on there for my measurements. Kind of hard to see them through the black of the text. And you know, I could change the text to a different color to make it easier, but you get the point. There's the one inch one right there, two inch, three inch, so forth, so on. So we're good to go. Let's burn it, see what we get. And there you have it, completed, worked out just right, perfect as it showed on the computer, so we're good to go. So I'm not going to continue on with this. This was just to show people that are new to lasers some of the equipment you're going to need if you want to be precise in your measurements. And there's a million more things to go with just these few that I've shown in this video.